Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, Jaime, hello, Ivan, Francisco, Maria Dolores, Jacqueline, and Hugo. Welcome to the class. Good evening. It's nice to see you tonight. Thank you so much for your punctuality. Okay, let's start with the class of tonight. Uh, yesterday we were studying the simple past and we study irregular verbs. Uh, do you have any question regarding that topic? Questions, doubts? No question, teacher. Okay, no question. Question. That's great. Bueno, el día de hoy tengo dos, tengo una información que darles, ¿verdad? Eh, mañana we are going to have classes. We are going to have classes tomorrow. El día de mañana vamos a tener clase. Tenemos que recuperar la clase de la semana pasada, que íbamos a recuperar el viernes 16, que fue el asueto del día de la independencia. Pero como también lo declararon asueto, entonces tenemos esa clase pendiente. Y mañana vamos a recuperar esa clase tomorrow, so we are going to have classes tomorrow, siempre a las 8, ¿verdad? siempre de 8 a 9 vamos a recuperar la clase de ese asueto que perdimos ¿de acuerdo? entonces sí tenemos clases mañana para que se conecten ¿verdad? para que se puedan conectar el día de mañana la segunda información del día de hoy es que ya pueden iniciar su proceso para inscribirse en el módulo siguiente ya pueden empezar el trámite de eh, reinscripción al siguiente módulo. ¿De acuerdo? Van a seguir el mismo proceso que hicieron para inscribirse en el módulo siguiente. La fecha tentativa para empezar el módulo es el 10 de octubre. Y la fecha límite para inscribirse es el 4 de octubre. Antes del 4 de octubre tienen que haber eh, mandado ¿verdad? su información. Antes una, de... uh -huh. sorry, una pregunta, digamos, cuando son así de empresas, no le mandan la información así para varios meses o solo tiene que ser mes con mes? Tiene que ser mes con mes la inscripción. Pero okay. para, para mayor información okay. pueden, pueden escribirle, ¿verdad? A las personas que los han estado asistiendo, ¿de acuerdo? En ese proceso. A las personas que lo han estado ayudando en ese proceso pueden escribirle para que ellas les den, les den más información. ¿De acuerdo? Acerca de ese trámite. Okay, gracias. Gracias. Hay, gracias. Hay que empezar ya, ¿verdad? Hay que empezar ya con ese trámite porque ya casi es el 4 de octubre. Ya está cerca. Y esa es la fecha límite para inscribirse al siguiente módulo. ¿Ok? Don't forget about that. O sea, eh, digamos, eh, no se comenzaría, de, por decirlo así, el como el primero, bueno, no tengo el calendario cerca para ver, ¿eh? Eh, bien fluido, digamos, la fecha, o cuándo es, sería el inicio de fecha de clase. Tentativamente es el 10 de octubre, el inicio del siguiente módulo. Siempre queda un espacio ¿verdad? para revisión, para revisión de sus notas, revisión de sus diplomas. Entonces queda un espacio de una o dos semanas. A veces se alarga un poquito ¿verdad? por los trámites que hay que seguir. Pero tentativamente comenzaría el 10 de octubre. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok. okay. Eh, tengo pues, eh, una pregunta. Este, a la semana que, bueno, que me estaba atendiendo a mí, le tendría que enviar la misma información que le envié. Así es. Solo tendría que actualizar el módulo, ¿verdad? porque se anotó en el básico 3. Módulo. Ajá. Tendría que seguir el siguiente módulo. ¿Qué sería el módulo 4? Eh, Preintermedio, creo que es el siguiente, ¿verdad? Intermedio 1 es. Vale, ese sería el siguiente módulo. Eso es lo que hay que actualizar. Ah, ok. Ok. Gracias. El preintermedio 1. Preintermedio 1 es, ¿verdad? 
el siguiente, el siguiente curso. Entonces, eso sí. es lo que hay que actualizar porque se inscribiría en ese sí. módulo. Te echaría así como yo, de que la empresa es la que me tiene la inscripción y todo, ellos siempre seguirían. Sí, así es. Eh, pero tiene que preguntar, ¿verdad? Tiene que preguntar para que lo, le envíen la información. Tiene que estar pendiente de que sí le envíen. La fecha límite eh, para inscribirse es el 4 de octubre. No olviden eso, por favor. Esa es la fecha límite. Good evening. Hello, María Dolores. Good evening. Eh, les estaba mencionando a sus compañeros que el día de mañana we are going to have classes. Vamos a tener clases para recuperar la de la semana pasada que perdimos por los asuetos. Eh, vamos a tener clase el día de mañana, siempre de 8 a 9. Y también les mencionaba que ya pueden enviar su información para inscribirse en el curso siguiente. Tienen hasta el 4 de octubre como fecha límite para hacerlo. ¿De acuerdo? Thank you. Ok, eh, yesterday we were studying irregular verbs and also we studied yes, no question. So let's start with this review. Let's remember it. Do you remember this verb? What is the meaning of this verb? Comer. Comer. Ok, and what is the past form of this verb? Eight. 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 Now, in Eight. the sentences. Eh, ella comió pupusas. She is eight. Ah, she is eight. She ate pupusas. 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 Okay. She ate pupusas. She is the right. Un sujeto, el verbo en pasado y un complemento. She ate pupusas. Ahora, ella no comió pupusas. She, she, she don't eat eat pupusas. She didn't eat pupusas. She didn't eat pupusas. She's not eat pupusas. She didn't eat pupusas. She didn't eat pupusas. Okay, she didn't. She didn't eat pupusas. Eh, bueno, she didn't eat pupusas. Si quiero preguntar, comió ella pupusas? Oh, But she didn't. Eat. Okay. Le falta el verbo. Okay. She didn't eat pupusas. Y ahora quiero preguntar. ¿Comió ella pupusas? Is she is eat at pupusas? Escribimos el auxiliar al inicio de la oración. Luego el sujeto. Ah, sorry. Is she eat? Luego el verbo. El verbo tiene que ir sin conjugar. Is she eat pupusas? Oh, ¿está bien así esa pregunta? ¿Es it ok? No. No, why not? Falta el question mark. Ah, ok, excelente. No va con period, ¿verdad? Necesitamos un question mark. Because it is a question. Es una pregunta. She ate pupusas. She didn't eat pupusas. Did she eat pupusas? Very good. So, do you have any question about this? No questions. No questions. Okay, that's great. Then let's start with tonight's class. Tonight we are going to continue practicing the simple past, but we are going to study a reading part and also WH word question in simple past tense. Vamos a ver las WH word que son cuáles. ¿Cuáles son las WH word? Do you remember them? How. How. Where, yes. Where. where. Why? 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 Who? 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 Who's también? Okay. So let's start with this topic. The topic for tonight is this weekend stories. Weekend oh, stories. It's a reading. It's a reading part. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you see it? Can you yes, see my see. screen now? Okay, thank you. Yes. So we can study. That is the topic for tonight. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, welcome to the class 11. Let's start with this. Let's start with this information. Simple past information questions. Esta es la estructura que debería ocupar una pregunta de información, ¿verdad? En el pasado simple. We are going to need the WH word 
siempre va a ir al principio, la palabra how, where, when, why, in who, in whose, va a ir al principio. Después necesitamos el auxiliar did. We need the auxiliary did. Then the subject. Después va el sujeto. El verbo sin conjugar. Y el complemento. en the question mark. Y el signo de pregunta. Let's take a look of the following example. When did he live? When did he live? Where did she go? What did you study yesterday? Why did we cry? Who did you visit yesterday? Now I have when, where, what, why, and who in these examples. When did he live? A qué hora se fue? Where did she go? A dónde fue ella? What did you study yesterday? ¿Qué es Estudiaste ayer. Why did we cry? ¿Por qué lloramos? Who did you visit yesterday? ¿A quién? ¿A quién visitaste ayer? Now, can you find the answer in this part? What is the answer for the first question? When did he live? He lived at 11 p.m. Okay, excellent. He left at 11 p.m. In the second question, where did she go? Because visit my grandma went to the mall. Grandma. She went to the mall because I visited my grandma. Ah, I visited my grandma. ¿Dónde fue? Yes, eh. Ella fue okay. al mercado. She went to the okay. mall. She went to the mall. Ok, where did she go? She went to the mall. ¿A dónde fue ella? Ella fue al centro comercial. She went to the mall. Now, what did Please. you study yesterday? What did you I study? Study. I studied math in science. Okay, I studied math in science. I studied math in science. Now let's see why did we cry? Because we lost. We lost the game. Okay, because yes, we then. lost the game. Because, because we lost. We lost the. Because we lost the game. Excellent, yes, because we lost the game. Uh, who did you visit yesterday? A quien? Visited my grandma. I visited, I visited my grandma. I visited, I visited my grandma. Visited my abuelita. Okay, excellent, thank you. Now let's see this. The W word is at the beginning of the question, siempre el principio de la oración. After the W word, we need the auxiliary did. Then we need the subject. Then we need the verb, sin conjugar, and then we need a complement. Uh, let's see, yesterday, for example, and the question mark. That is what we're going to need. So don't forget about this part. Any question in this part? Questions? Do you have a question? Question. No question. Excellent. Then, then let's see. How fast can you answer the following question? Number one, what did you cook yesterday? What did you cook yesterday? Yes, but can you answer this question? Vamos a ver quién la responde primero. What did you cook yesterday? I cooked a steak yesterday. Okay, I cooked what? A steak. A stick, I cook. I didn't cook yesterday. Oh, that is another good answer. Thank you. I didn't cook yesterday. Thank you. Any other answer? What did you cook yesterday? Let's see the second I, one. I I cooked uh, scrambled Thank eggs you. and and beans. 
Thank you so much. I cooked scrambled eggs and beans. I cooked the pizza. Sí, va. Se puede. Okay. I cook a pizza. I cooked a pizza. I cook chicken soap. Yes, that is a good answer too. The second one, what did you eat for breakfast? I ate pupusa. I ate pupusa. Okay, excellent answer. I ate pupusa. I didn't eat yesterday. I didn't eat pupusas today. Okay, and that is another good answer. I didn't, I didn't eat breakfast yesterday. I didn't eat breakfast. Oh, that is not healthy. Yes, be careful. You have to eat your breakfast every day. I don't have time. <laughs> uh, really? I'm sorry no. to hear that. So what did you eat for breakfast? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day because breakfast give you energy, the energy that you need to start your day very well. So try to eat your breakfast always. And the third one, when did you last tell a lie? When did you last tell a lie? Cuando fue la última, la última vez que dijo una mentira? When did you last tell a lie? Never. never. Ah, okay. I never tell. <laughs> I never. I, she's honest, right? She's sincere. She never. Always, tell always. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when did you last tell a lie? Then you say, I told a lie yesterday. I told a lie one hour ago. Let's see the number four. What did you have for dinner yesterday? Ya ni me acuerdo, teacher. What did you have for dinner yesterday? Then you say, I had... I had uh, beans and scrambled eggs. Okay, excellent. I had beans and scrambled eggs. Thank you. Any other answer? What did you have for dinner yesterday? I had cheese, rice and beans, and egg. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see number five. What did you watch on TV last weekend? What did you watch on TV I last didn't, weekend? I, I didn't watch TV last weekend. I'm so sorry. I didn't watch TV on last weekend. Any other answer? ¿Qué viste en la televisión el fin de semana pasado? What did you watch on TV last I weekend? Watch Dragon Ball. Excellent. I watch oh. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z cartoon. I watch. I watch. I watch Hulk movie. Okay, I watch Hulk movie. Let's see the next question. How did you get to work today? How did you get to work today? Yes, teacher. I worked. ¿Cómo sería? Hoy trabajé. O sea, trabajé ayer. Sí, o sea, I worked. ¿Qué se traería hoy? Ay, uh, how did you get to work today? It means, ¿cómo llegó al trabajo este día? O, ¿cómo llegó a su trabajo hoy? Vamos. Then you say, I drove my car. Yo conducí wow. mi carro. I took the bus. Tomé eh, un bus. I took a taxi. I rode my motorcycle. Me fui en I moto. Drive, I drive. I drive. My car. Okay, I drove, sería en pasado. I drove my car. Uh, I drove my car. Yes, that is the right sentence. I drove my car. Uh, any other question? I didn't get out of work because I stayed in home. Ah, uh, okay. 
you were at home? Do you were at home? Yes. Teacher, lo puede anotar, por favor. Ah, okay, that's great. Teacher, eh, lo puede anotar. Excuse me, Hugo. Se lo puede anotar, le digo, la, la, I drove my, my car. Ah, oh, yes, no problem. I drove to work. I drove to work. Conduje al trabajo. Podemos agregarle acá, I drove my car. I drove my car to work today. Conducí y car. para decir un ejemplo que... Eh, uh -huh. Which example? Tell me. I rode my motorcycle. Me fui en mi moto. Teacher, y es en cuando es motocicleta no es draw también. No, es road. Es road. El verbo en presente sería ride. I ride my motorcycle. Monté mi, yo monto road. mi motocicleta. I rode, monté mi bicicleta. Gracias. Ok, thank you. Any other question? Let's go with the last question in this part. The last question is this. A second. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Aquí vamos. What did you do yesterday is the other question. What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? I worked yesterday. Okay, thank you. I worked yesterday. I worked yesterday. Thank you. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? I went to yes. work. I went to work. Excellent answer. Thank you. Yo fui al trabajo. Fui a trabajar. I went to work. I Any went other to answer? Work. I went to work. I went, no, to, I work. went to I went to work every night. Okay. Every night? You work at night? Yes. Yes, in the night. Ah, okay. Perfect. No more answers? Okay, let's do something. Hugo, choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. ¿A quién escoge? Eh, eh, María Dolores. Okay, excellent. So, choose a question too. Escoja una pregunta también. Y le pregunta a María Dolores. Ok, sería la uno. Juan. Mm, what's wherever the, you went. Eh, Juan. What okay. did your cook yesterday? I didn't cook yesterday. Excellent I, answer. I worked eh, in the night. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Eh, María Dolores, escoja una pregunta y se la va a hacer a Francisco. Ask ok. Francisco. Eh, number four. What did you have for dinner yesterday, Francisco? Hello, Francisco. Hello, hello. No lograba accionar el micrófono. Ah, ok. What did you have for dinner yesterday? I, I had, had I had pupusas. Ok. For dinner you. yesterday. Excellent. Now this is for Jaime. ¿Puede escoger una pregunta para Jaime Francisco, please? Ok. Um, number... Number six. Okay. Jaime, how did you get to work today? At the, I work today. Um, I'm bus. I did bus to work. Okay. I took, sería, I took the bus to work. Tomé okay. el bus para el trabajo. I took the bus. Okay, thank you so much. So let's go with the next exercise for tonight. Thank you. 
Now let's see, organize the following verbs. Uh, let's see, according the, the, to the pronunciation, to the ED pronunciation. I have this verb here. We have loved, waited, liked, decided, hold, enjoyed, relaxed, started, kissed, smiled, invited, and arrived. So, ¿cuáles de estos verbos terminan en este sonido? In T sound. Cold. Okay, cold. Yes, that is one. Cold. Uh, light. 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 Ah, okay. You say, you say light, cold. Are you White. sure? Cold. White. Cold. ¿Con qué sonido termina? Cold. Con D. Sí. Con D. With D sound. Sí. Okay. We are looking for the one that end in T sound. Uh, white. Waited. Rider. Rider. Oh, wait. When you say arrived. Rider. Arrived. Okay. Arrived. Relax. Relaxed. Relaxed. Yes, that is one. So let's see. I have here the verb. The first one is light. 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 The relaxed. 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 Kiss. 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 Now let's see with this sound. ¿Cuáles de estos verbos terminan con sonido de D? Arriben, no sé cómo se vamos a pronunciar. Love, arrived, yes, that is one. Loved. 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 Small. Small. Enjoyed. Uh, enjoyed. Enjoyed to. Smiled. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Smile. Smiler. Smile. Okay, we have love, cold, enjoyed, smile, and arrive. Then let's see the ones that any it, it sound. Decided. Decided. Wait. Decided. Wait. Invited. 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 Start. Started. 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 And invited. Invited. Okay, so we have light, relaxed, kissed, loved, cold, enjoyed, smiled, arrived, waited, decided, started, invited. Te hiciera una pregunta. Yes. Eh, kids es llave o beso, porque ahí no sé un poco. Kissed. Sí. Oh, kissed. Kids. Ajá. Eh, sería el verbo besar en este caso. Ah. Llaves es kiss. Kiss. Ah, ok. Eh, desire. Decided. Decidir. Ah. Sí. Eh, bueno, solo es third, third, sería, eso me da la pronunciación. Y está abajo de desire. Decided, smile. Invited. O invited. 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 Uh -huh. Any other question in this part? Solo Let's continue bien. then. Okay, let's go with this error, error correction. Error correction. Take a look at these sentences. What's wrong with this sentence? ¿Cuál es el error en esta oración? Paulina didn't sound very well. Sing. El verbo está en pasado y debe estar en presente. Okay. In present. Thank you so much. Let's do the second one. My word, a beautiful jacket on his birthday. 
Where sería ahí. Where. 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 My wear a beautiful jacket on this building. No, no, no. Yes, the mistake is in the verb, but what is the problem? Is it regular or irregular? It's irregular. It's irregular. Uh -huh. And los verbos irregular, no, verbos. no le escribimos ever, ¿verdad? El pasado correcto de ese verbo es. Verbs. Wore. Wore. Oh, my oh, work oh, a sorry. beautiful jacket on his birthday. Let's see number three. Where did you found that money? Where did you found that money? What's wow. wrong with this sentence? Embarrassing. Okay, the verb is in past. It must be in present. So find. Where did you find that money? Did Oscar Wilde wrote many novels? Right. It's right. Okay. Albert didn't drink any alcohol. Drink. 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 Albert Wait. didn't drink. Okay. Excellent. No problem with this. I can see. You did no. an excellent job in this exercise. Thank you. Now let's go with the next. Take a look at this question. Who wants to answer the first one? What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did you have for breakfast this morning? What? what? Then you say, I had. I eh, had. ¿Qué desayuno? That is the question. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had eh, pupusas. <laughs> Excellent. I had pupusas. I had pupusas. What I was the last? Tamales. Uh, I, I had tamales. Yeah. I had tamales. Teacher, I have a question. What's your question? I have a question. Ah, sí, eh? Este, that is an expression. Es una expresión. Como, ¿qué desayunaste? What did you have for breakfast this morning? Okay. Then you say, I had uh, eggs, I had beans, I had rice, I had coffee, I had meal. Let's go with the second one. What was the last film you saw? ¿Cuál fue la última película que vio? Then you say, I watch or I saw. I watch the Karate Kid. Okay, Karate Kid. Excellent. Karate, karate Kid. Uh, which other one? Any other answer? What was the last film you saw? Tell me. Independence Day. Okay, Independence Day. With Will Smith. Any other answer? Predator. Okay, Predator. Any other answer? What was the last film you saw? I saw Apocalypse. Thank you so much. Who did you last talk to on the telephone? Who did you last talk on the telephone? ¿Con quién hablaste la última vez por teléfono? No sé. Yes, that is the right translation of this question. I, I talk with my boss. Okay, thank you. Very good answer. I talk to my boss. I talk to, to my, to my dear friend. Excellent answer. I thank the you. Manager. Thank you so much. I talk uh, with my daughter, teacher. With my daughter, excellent. Teacher, Teacher I, I talk. Sorry, continue. I talk in my husband. Okay, I es, talk to my sería, husband. 
Richard has a question. Sería I told eh, the manager, eh, hablé con mi jefe. ¿Te estaría así? Yes, I told, I talked to my manager. Okay. Let's go to the next question. What did you last read? What did you last read? ¿Qué fue lo último que leyó? Did you say, I read? I read the message. Thank you so much. I read that this text message, sorry. Text I read. Message. I read paper. I read paper. WhatsApp. I read WhatsApp. WhatsApp messages. I read newspaper. I read, I read the PDF. Oh, I read. I read. I read. Okay, let's go to the next. What time? How do you say noticias? Uh, the news. 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 I read the news. Okay. What time did you go to bed last night? I went to bed at 10 p.m. Thank you so much. Excellent answer. What did you watch on TV last night? Anoche. What did you watch on TV? I watched. No, <laughs> Oh, I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch, I didn't watch TV. Cobra Kai. I didn't, uh, I didn't watch TV. I didn't I don't watch TV. Watch. I, don't I watch I watch Cobra Kai. What was the last photograph you took? What was the last photograph you took? La última foto de su teléfono. What was the last photograph you took? Can you say I took a photograph of my daughter, of my mother? I took a photograph of my dog, of my car, or my face. Okay. I took a selfie. I took a selfie. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I took a photograph of my house. Oh, excellent. I took a photograph of my house. Es que la acabo de pintar, entonces necesitaba esa foto. Okay, great. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, when did you last see the sea? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que vio el mar? In the last vacation. Okay, I saw Correct. the sea the last on my last vacation. I saw I the sea on my last vacation. I saw the sea the last month. Last month. Yeah. Excellent answer. Can I say I don't remember? Yes, I don't remember. When was the last time I saw the sea? I don't remember. I don't Not remember recorded. too. Okay, excellent. What did you buy yesterday? ¿Qué fue lo último que compró? No, ¿qué compró ayer? What did you buy yesterday? I bought, I bought bread in market. Okay, in I market. bought bread in the market. In the market. I, I bought teacher. I bought ice cream. I bought, uh, I bought a teacher. I bought ice cream. Nice. ¿Cómo puedo decir? Eh, no, no he ido a comprar aún, algo así. Oh, en este caso I sería, yo buy. no compré nada, yo no compré nada. I, I, didn't, I didn't buy, buy anything. I didn't buy anything yesterday. No compré nada ayer. I didn't buy anything yesterday. Ok, now the last question. What was the last meal you cooked? ¿Cuál fue lo último que cocinó? La última comida que cocinó. Ticucos, yuca frita, french fries. What was the last meal you cooked? Then you say, I cooked. I cooked fried banana. Fried bananas. 
I cook a big pizza. Excellent. It was delicious, I, cook, I am sure. I cook a soup. I, I, I cook potato with, with cheese. Excellent. I cook potatoes with cheese. I cook soap. Excellent. Take a look at these ideas. I have these ideas. Let's see, for example, for the first one, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had bean, cream, and cheese. Let's see the next. Let's see this. The second one, I saw a Spider-Man far from home. What was the last film you saw? I saw a Spider-Man far from home. Number three, who did you last talk to on the telephone? I talked to my mom. Uh, what did you last read? I read Harry Potter book, books. What time did you go to bed last night? I went to bed at 11.30. What did you watch on TV last night? I watched a movie. What was the last photograph you took? I took a selfie. Oh, when did you last see the sea? I saw the sea two years ago. What did you buy yesterday? I bought a candy. And what was the last meal you cooked? I cooked roasted chicken. So these are my ideas. All of them are information questions. Todas estas preguntas eran preguntas de información with WH word. What, who, eh, what and who, and also when. Let's go with the next exercise. Excellent job answering this question. Thank you so much for your help. So let's go with this last vacation. These are some past simple questions about your last vacation. Uh, let's think about your last vacation. Recordemos nuestras últimas vacaciones. ¿Qué hicimos en esas vacaciones? Let's see, for example, where did you go on your last vacation? What did you do there? What did you do there? It is another question. ¿A dónde fue su última vacación? ¿Qué hizo en ese lugar? How much money did you spend? Who did you go with? ¿Cuánto dinero gastó? ¿Con quién fue? And how many days did you stay there? Let's think about these five Teacher. Yes. Teacher, disculpe, podría ver la, la diapositiva anterior. Sure, no problem. Let's give me a second. This one? Sí, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Any volunteer to answer this set of questions? Who wants to participate answering this? Any volunteer tonight? Me. Thank you so much. Let's start with number one. Where did you go on your last vacation? I went to the beach last vacation. Thank you so much. What did you do there? I walked on the beach. Thank you. How much money did you spend? I paid, spent $100. Who did you go with? I went with my family. How many days did you stay there? I stayed three days there. Three days there. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent answer. Thank you. Any other volunteer? I have Hugo. Thank you so much, Hugo. Where did you go on your last vacation, Hugo? I the, I I go I go is the beach. Creo que es playa beach. I went to I went to the beach. I went to the beach. Beach. I went to the beach. What did you do there? Eh, no me acuerdo cómo se llama cómo se dice cómo se dice la la de San Diego. 
Ah, ok. Esa sería en la primera. I went to San Diego's beach. Fue a la playa de San Diego. Now, what did you do there? ¿Qué hizo ahí? ¿Qué actividades realizó en la playa? I, este... I slept. <laughs> so... I slept. Yo dormí en a hammock. I slept on a hammock. Dormí ah. en una hamaca. Under a coconut tree. Debajo de un palo de coco. Now, how much money did you spend there? How much? Uh, I spent. Perdón. I spent. I spent. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Mucho dinero. Ok, I spent a lot of money. Mucho dinero. Who did you okay. go with? ¿Con quién fue Hugo? Who did you go with? I go, I go to my family. With... How many days did you stay there? Uh -huh. Como family. Excelente. Sí, um, I got, I got uh, my family. Sí, I went, I went I with went my family. family. How many days did you stay there? ¿Cuántos días estuvo ahí? Ah, one day I, I stayed there. I stayed there. One day. Un día sería one. I stayed there. Ok, thank you. Then I have Francisco Antonio. Thank you, Hugo. Excellent job. Francisco, do you have a question or do you want to answer the question? I won't participate. Okay, excellent. Damaris, can you please help me reading the question? And Francisco is going to answer. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Where did you go on your last vacation? I went to the beach. What did you do there? I found the beach and I played the soccer. How much money did you spend? I spent $50. Who did you go with? I went with my co-workers. How many days did you stay there? I stayed just one day. Excellent answer. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent question too. Very good pronunciation. Both of you guys, thank you so much. Let's continue with tonight's class. Let me show you this. Party. Now it's about party. When did you go to a party? Who did you go with? How did you get there? And how many people attended the party? Four questions for you. I have another I one. Have... What did you eat or drink? Yes? Teacher, I have a question eh, in la the last vacation. Mm -hmm. Donde decía, <clears throat> what did you do this ahí which one what did you do there there ¿Qué um, hizo ahí? ¿Qué actividades realizó ahí? en este caso podríamos do? responder con I went to y, y pero como ya es un verbo irregular cuando yo digo I went uh -huh. I went to swim porque sería sin nadie o tengo que cambiar ese verbo también o oh, en ese caso sería I went swimming I went swimming. I oh, went swimming. Sí, yo fui a nadar. Oh, dice nadé. I swam. Tiene swam. dos opciones. I went swimming o I swam. Swam, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, excellent question. Thank you so much. Any volunteer to answer this other set of questions? There are five questions for you. When did you go to a party? Who did you go with? How did you get there? And how many people attended the party? What did you eat or drink? Just one volunteer, and then we go to another exercise. Anyone? Just one. Yo, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jaime. When did you go to a party?
Hello, Jaime. Mm. Then you say, I went to a party yesterday. I went to a party last Saturday. month. I go party in my house. I okay. went. I went. I went to a party. But this is when. It means when. cuando. Cuando fue uh, a una fiesta. Is, I, went yesterday. Excellent. I went to a party yesterday. Who did you go with? Con quien fue? Say, I went with. I, I went with my wife. Excellent. Thank you. How did you get there? Como llegó a la fiesta? I drove my car. I took the bus. I get my car. Okay, I drove my car. Excellent. I drove. Uh, I drove. I drove. I my drove. Car. Drove. Uh -huh. Okay. How many people attended the party? Cuántas personas llegaron a la fiesta? Eh, sería mucha. Sería big. No, big. A lot. No, sería. Oh. A lot, of, a lot of people attended the party. A lot, a lot of people. A lot of. Uh, a lot, lot of. A lot of people. People attended the party. What did you eat or drink there? I. Uh, I. I. Drink. Uh, coffee, soda. Okay, I drank because it's in past. Mm. I drank. I drank. I drank coffee, soda, beer. Coffee. Okay, coffee and soda. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. So don't forget about this question. Uh, I have another two volunteers in this part. Hugo. And yes, Maris in Francisco, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Partici partic uh, participate. Okay, Hugo, can you please ask the question to Damaris? Puede hacerle las preguntas a Damaris, please, Hugo. Después Francisco le pregunta a Samuel. Let's start. When did, when did you go to the party? I went to a party yesterday. Uh, who did you go with? I went with my family. How did you get there? I drove my cars. How many people are there the the party? A lot of people. What did you eat or or drive or drink? I drank tequila. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Excellent job, Damaris and Hugo. Just yes, we were attended. Attended. How many people attended the party? Thank you so much. Now let's go with Samuel and Francisco and Samuel. Francisco, can you ask the question, please? Okay, teacher. When did you go to a party? I went to a party last weekend. Okay. Who did you go? Who did you go with? I went to my friend. I went with my friend. I went with my friend. How did you get there? How did you get there? I took the bus, I took a Uber, I took a taxi.
Samuel, hello. Lo siento, teacher, eh, tengo mala señal, pero no sé si ahorita ya me escuchan. Yes, yes, Samuel. Sí, eh, escucha. Eh, la pregunta era, how did you get there? Yes. Um, um, I look the boost. I, I, I talk the bus. I talk the bus. <laughs> Thank you. How many people attended the party? A lot of people attend attended the party. A party. What did you eat or drink? I drank coffee with milk. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Samuel, don't worry about your internet connection. Let's go with the next exercise here. And is this reading part? Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. In the pregunta anterior, este, and how many people attended the party? In otra respuesta para no decir a lot. What party is it? Numbers. You can use number. How many? It refers to numbers. Mm -hmm. Then you can say 100 people attended the party. 10 people okay. attended the party. Iniciaríamos entonces con, con la cantidad, digamos. Yes. Attended the party sería entonces. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, 100 people attended the party. Yes. 20 people attended to the party. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now let's go with this reading. And then after the reading, we are going to answer some questions so listen listen and follow the reading please she's kelly look at this girl she's kelly and we are going to listen about kelly's weekend que realizó kelly el fin de semana let's listen weekend stories can you listen Yes, yes teacher. I listen. Yes, teacher. I listen. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Here we go then. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Now the question, do you have any, any new word here for you? Any new vocabulary? No teacher, I had, had. Tell me which one? I had great week, weekend. Uh, okay. Sería así, eh, como el hub es tener, ¿verdad? Allí sería como. Yo tuve. I have a ah. great weekend. Tuve un fin de semana. Excelente. Ok, Estupendo. grandioso, excelente. Okay. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. ¿A dónde fue? A la boda de su amiga. A una boda. A una boda de su amiga Helen. Okay, let's answer the question. Did she have an awful weekend? Tuvo ella un fin de semana muy malo? No, she didn't. No, uh, she didn't. I had a she great didn't. weekend. She had. She, she had. She had. Yeah, a great, great weekend. weekend. Where did she go? She went. She went to the wedding. Helen's mm. wedding. Okay, excellent. She went to Helen's wedding. Did Helen look fantastic? Did yeah. Helen look fantastic? Yes. She is. She, she, she looked fantastic. She looked fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. She looked fantastic. Okay, wait. Listen, it's a yes, no question. That she wore a beautiful dress. Okay, she wore a beautiful dress, yes. But this is a yes, no question. Did Helen look fantastic? Then, yes. 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 Yes, she did. She, yes, she did. Next question. Where did Helen get married? 
¿Dónde fue la boda? Where did Helen get married? At home. Ok. Helen got, Helen got married at home. Mm. Who did serve the food? ¿Quién sirvió la comida? Her family. Yeah. Her parents. Her parents. Her parents. Her parents. Okay, here are the answers. Did she have an awful weekend? Yes, she did. Where did she go? Uh, ¿Está correcta la primera respuesta? No. No. no it's right. Yeah, okay, yes, it's a mistake. So, no, she didn't. Where did she go? She went to her best friend wedding. Uh, did Helen look fantastic? Yes, she did. Yes, she, did. <laughs> she got married at her home. Helen's parents served the food. Let's go with the second. Weekend story. Look, Robert. He is Robert. Let's listen about Robert's weekend. Follow the reading, please. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana de Robert? Oh, oh, horrible. Oh, oh, horrible. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. He went to a rock concert. And I have a terrible time. Right, let, let's go stay a look at the equation. Did Robert have a good weekend? She had a no. awful weekend. No. No, he, no, he, no, didn't. he didn't. No, he, no, he, he didn't. didn't. He had an awful weekend. Who did he go to the concert with? Her Who did... friends. Okay. Your he went, friend. he went Your with, friend. With, with, with his, his friends. Friend. With. Okay, with his friends. He went with his friends. What time did he get home? What time did he get home? Get home team. Got home at 10 this morning. Okay. Se fue ayer y regresó hasta hoy a las 10. Wow. Did the car break down? Yes. yes it did. Okay. It yes, it did. Okay. Now... Did Robert had a good weekend? No, he didn't. Who did he go to the concert with? He went with his friends. What time did he get home? He got home at 10 this morning. Did the car break down? Yes, it yes, did. Yes, it did. I'm sorry yes. for Robert. And the last one for Robert. Tonight is this, Erin, Erin. Listen about Erin's weekend, please. Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay, first question. How did she get to the campsite? How did she get to the campsite? ¿Cómo llegó al campamento? How did she get to the campsite, guys? She went he drove the... with, with her friends and we drove. 
Ok, excelente. Uh, they so, draw. They draw. They draw. Ok, we left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. Excellent. They draw to the campsite. Let's see. Did she catch a fish? Did she catch a fish? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Did she like camping? Yes, I like it. No. Yes. No, she didn't. No, no she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't, but no, she didn't. Yeah, she she, didn't. she learned. No, she didn't. How was her weekend? It was. It was interesting. It was interesting. interesting weekend. Very good. Okay, number one, she drove to the campsite. She put up the tent. Uh, Celia, what did she do at the camp? La número dos. ¿Qué hizo en el campamento? She put up the tent. She built a fire. She cooks dinner and told stories. And number three, did she like camping? No, she didn't. How was her weekend? She had an interesting weekend. weekend. Okay, so weekend plans. Uh, oh. Teacher, yes? did she catch a fish? Mm, ahí, ¿qué, ¿qué quiere decir? No, no entendí. Capturó un pez o oh, pescó. Pez. Pescó un pescado. Mm -hmm. Did she catch a fish? Se está preguntando como, ¿capturó ella un pez o...? Así es. Atrapó Era ella otra un pescado. How was so, her weekend? ¿Cómo uh -huh. estuvo su fin de semana? Mm -hmm. Ok, tomorrow we are going to study this. Was and where. Tomorrow we are going to study the simple pass of the verb to be. Okay. Any question about tonight's class? If no more question. Aaron. This is the end. Thank you so much. Okay. Don't forget that tomorrow we are going to have classes. Mañana tenemos clases. Los veo a las 8. See you at 8 okay. o'clock p.m. Have a good night. Bye bye. Sleep well, guys. Bye. Teacher, I have a question. Okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. En la siguiente módulo que va a dar, usted va a seguir dando. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Eh, generalmente oh. es otro teacher, ¿verdad? They change. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Good bye. Good night. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good teacher. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good evening. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.